Hey, 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 world. What is up? What is up? What is up? <clears throat> I hope you are well. I appreciate you watching this. I'm just going to refresh my cellular device here and make sure that uh, the audio is coming through. Make sure that you what guys can what is up? What is up? hear the words coming out of my mouth and you can. All right. So let's get into this. What is up, everybody? It is uh, December 3rd. Let me see where my where my at where my at here. So December third, two thousand and eighteen. Welcome to that day. Uh, welcome to today. It's Monday, the very beginning of the week. Hopefully, it's going to be a great week for you. I know it's going to be an amazing week for me. So uh, my name is Justin Glover, and this Facebook Lives is a special one. It's going to benefit those of you who might need a jolt of motivation or some inspiration for the day to just kick off the week right. Uh, or could also benefit those of you that maybe you're frustrated with the way that things are currently going. Uh, this will help with that. Maybe you're not feeling that excited about your future as you would like to feel, right? You'd like a little bit more excitement, a little bit more uh, clarity and joy and the feeling of passion to kind of pull you towards those things in life that you want. If that sounds like you, then this live stream will absolutely help. So as you come on, give me a hashtag live or let me know where you're you're, you're watching from, if you happen to be catching the replay, uh, let me know, hashtag replay, let me know that you were here and engaged, I appreciate each and every one of you. So uh, next couple of minutes, this will be, I have no idea how long it's going to be, hopefully not tremendously long, Greg Gomez in the house, what is up my brother, now it is a party. Uh, so here's what I'm going to share with you, alright, the story of a guy who went from total struggleville to billions, literally. Um, a story will hopefully inspire you to uh, to never quit, all right? To never quit again. Just quit quitting, all right? That's what the objective is of the story. And uh, also, it's a step that you can take right now. I'm going to share with you a step you can take right now as in today to, uh, to really light yourself up from the inside. Light yourself up like a Christmas tree uh, and just crank up the level of passion and excitement to the point where you got people asking if you're on drugs. To the point where you're like Greg Gomez, where people are just like, where does this guy's energy come from, <laughs> right? And so, um, thanks for, for showing up, guys. Let's, uh, that's what we're talking about, right? That is the topic. So, before we get into all of that, we start with everything with some good news. And so, uh, let's give a little good news. What is your good news? Something going well for you in the last 24 hours or over the weekend? Uh, drop it in the comments. Let's fill the comments up with a bit of positivity before we kick things off. Thangs, <laughs> I, I twanged that one for sure. Um, so let me know where, you, where you're tuning in from, what's your good news. My good news, I'll start, is I had a tremendously good team training this morning. Um, just further clarifying what our vision is, where we're going, how we're getting there. It really is a fun process. I, I truly enjoy the feeling of mastery because mastery is not a destination. Mastery is a path, it's a journey. And that's a fun journey if you stop to actually pay attention as you go along. And so this morning we had a very productive meeting, um, and uh, I really enjoy the uh, the journey. So Greg's good news is the Arizona Cardinals beat the Packers. That is good news if you're an Arizona Cardinals fan. Not so good news if you're a Packers fan. So uh, well done. Glad your team won. Um, so let's see who else we got here. Elena is in the house. What's up, Elena? Adam Miller. Good to have you here, my friend. So let's let's get into this. All right. So the content, like I said, the title is "How a Struggling Appliance Salesman uh, Shifted His Thinking and Built a Twenty-Seven Billion Dollar Empire." All right. So the, the the reality is this: friends, I see coworkers, even people that you meet just out and about in regular things, openly admitting to quitting too early, to giving up. I hear it all the time. Just in the context of conversation, people tell me that they gave up. Now, I've been on this journey for the last decade wondering, why is that? Why do people quit so damn early? Um, why do people quit at all? Because if you just don't quit, you'll always get the things that you want. And so, why do people choose the easy route and give up? And I try to live my life the opposite of that. One of my biggest fears is dying with regret. And I know it's not my only, I'm not the only one that feels that way. There's a book, it's a best-selling book. I think it's called The Number One, The the, the number one or the top 10 regrets of the dying or the number one regret of the dying, I can't remember. Um, the, the regrets, the, the top regrets of the dying. The number one regret is I wish I would have done more, all right? Not 
not wanting to, uh, I wish I would have had more experiences. I wish I would, would have created more memories. It's not about the things that you get. And so uh, that's one of my biggest fears is actually dying of regret. And so that's part of what pushes me or pulls me into action every single day. The regret of not knowing what I could have accomplished, but I didn't because I was scared or I didn't because I didn't work hard enough or I didn't because I just gave up when it got uncomfortable, right? That is my number one regret. And so whether it's a fitness goal that you might have, a business idea, a, a, a sports goal that you have, or another challenge in life, it can be about anything. Um, I always try to see it through. I always encourage others to also try and see it through um, because giving up is freaking easy. Giving up is easy. It's the finishing of the goal that's difficult. All right, Ross Perot says most people give up just when they're about to achieve success. They quit on the one yard line. I talked about this last Monday. They give up at that last moment, one foot from the winning touchdown. That's when most um, so today's story is hopefully going to inspire you to follow through a little bit more on your goals and dreams and really tap into the unlimited, unlimited potential that is currently inside of you um, and really create and craft the future that you actually desire, the future that you dream about, the future that you want. And so last Monday on this, I told you that, that uh, I told you a quick story about Jack Canfield and Mark Victor Hansen, how they sold 500 million books after they had been turned down by like 130 publishers saying this is a terrible idea. They did, and then enough publishers told them that it was a bad idea that their agent even dropped them. They still went on after that and sold a half a billion books. And so this week, today's story I'm going to share with you is the story of another guy that you probably have heard of. His name is Ray Kroc. Um, it's one of the coolest perseverance stories that uh, can really show you that you can succeed at any age or any point in your life. Whenever you get clarity of vision and make the decision, then you can succeed. All right. So the Golden Arches, they're also synonymous with one of the oldest, the biggest and the most successful businesses in the world. Um, it's been around for a while. McDonald's is not a small deal. Um, but without Ray Kroc, it would have been a small deal. McDonald's, you probably would not have heard about McDonald's unless you were a very select group of people. All right. Because if it weren't for Ray Kroc, the McDonald's would have been a one location burger store um, in San Bernardino, California. That's that's what it was before Ray came along. And um, and so he he's the one that had the vision for more. And so if you've never actually seen the movie, The Founder, it's the story of Ray and the story of his journey. It's an incredible movie. It's a really great, it's one of my favorite movies actually. Um, it's a really great business and, and, and growth and systems type of movie that you want. You just, you, I walked away with, with several takeaways from it. Now, um, is the story a little sad? Yeah, kind of. Um, it is um, just because of the way things played out and the way that it happened. The, the story can be interpreted as a little bit sad, but Ray was a 50 plus year old uh, that, that was just having a very difficult time selling milkshake machines to restaurants. And so he was struggling milkshake salesman. Um, he, he lived a comfortable life, but he wanted more. Like he, he just wanted more. He wasn't happy. He was he was irritated with like he decently somewhat comfortable, but wanted a lot more. Um, and so he met the brothers, the two guys that were actually behind McDonald's, and he brought to them the vision, the bigger vision. That was the, his vision was way bigger than their vision, um, something very different from what they had, uh, very much bigger than what they had. And so his big his vision was bigger than theirs, which is a key statement there, um, because the person with the bigger vision is always going to win. Um, and if that is you, what is and you've got a bigger vision for your life than say doctors might have for your life or critics might have for your life. If your vision, vision is bigger than theirs, can they phase you? The answer is no. The doctors can't make you die because they say, oh, our vision is you have this disease. That means you're going to die next month. Like everybody that gets this disease dies next month. They can tell you that. But if your vision is bigger than that, if your vision is I'm not affected by this, I got shit to do, Still, I'm not going anywhere. If that is your vision, your vision will is bigger than theirs and it will win out every time. I've seen this happen firsthand. One of my greatest mentors uh, in this life um, 
he, he was diagnosed and given four months to live and ended up living over five years because of that reason specifically. And so Ray shows up, Ray Kroc shows up to the brothers in San Bernardino, California. He sees their burger, their burger thing. They call him up one day and say, hey, we need to buy some milkshakes. It's a large order. He wasn't getting any orders back then, much less large orders. And so he personally went down there and then he saw their operation. And when he saw their operation, that's when he started crafting and, and unpacking his vision. And that led him to a massive expansion of McDonald's, all right? Starting to buy the land where all of the locations operate. And, uh, and that's what grew it into the McDonald's that we know and, and are familiar with today. And so uh, a quick little synopsis here of the, uh, the McDonald's story, all right? cool little points that you might not have known. And I pulled these directly from a, an article from Business Insider. And so uh, McDonald's was started as a night in, in 19 something. I, I didn't actually catch that um, in a one location burger chain. So that's when it started uh, as, as one one location. Burgers were uh, initially 15 cents to get a burger. Um, they hit they hire around these, these days. They hire around one million workers in the U.S. every single year. That's a big jump, all right? McDonald's is a $27 billion um, enterprise, all right? So the $27 billion in revenue, it makes it the 90th largest economy in the entire world. <laughs> Think about that, the 90th largest economy in the entire world, countries included McDonald's, 27 billion. That's huge, all right? So what's the lesson here in, in this story? All right, what is the lesson? Why am I telling you this? Well, the lesson is to dream big, all right? Without a bigger dream, then if Ray didn't have the dream to grow the, the, the McDonald's franchise into something bigger, it would have been, it would have remained a one location burger joint. It would have never grown beyond that because that wasn't the dream, it wasn't the vision of the brothers. And so while this story is, like I said, kind of, kind of sad, the brothers kind of get screwed, um, the main lesson here is to never aim low. That's the takeaway. Don't aim low on your goals, all right? Shoot for the stars instead. And if you fall short of the stars, you'll still land on the moon, all right? Not a bad, not a bad deal, okay? So dream bigger. It's okay to set bigger goals that pull you forward and not, not meet every single one of them on the exact moment and day. I have goals week to week. We, I, my good news was we had a very productive team meeting. I show up to my, our Monday team meetings almost every week with at least one goal that I said I was going to do last week that I didn't get done. But is it because I was slacking? No, it's because I set such big goals and so many goals. Like I was striving to have a great week. Sometimes I show up with one goal unatt unattained. Sometimes I show up with five goals unattained. Set bigger goals, dream bigger, create a bigger vision for your life, more exciting life. And like I said, shoot for the stars. And if you miss, if you fall short, maybe you still hit the moon, right? Andrea Tompkins, I see that you are here. Welcome. So glad to have you. Thanks for, uh, for tuning in. So that is the brief story of, uh, of Ray Kroc and, and how he went from that struggling milkshake salesman, uh, milkshake appliance salesman, to building the franchise that's the largest as, as the 90th largest economy in the in the world so uh, hopefully you got a little bit of value from this story more importantly I hope that it inspired you to be just a little bit better version of yourself today than you were yesterday I don't care whatever that looks like for you um, hopefully this inspired you to be a little bit bigger better dream a little bit bigger if it did and you did get some value from this stuff um, let me know leave me a comment and if uh, if you know somebody that you think maybe it'll you know they, they could use some inspiration or motivation or whatever uh, share this story with them. Maybe tag them. Maybe maybe share it with them. I would appreciate it. They would hopefully appreciate it. Um, and by the way, you may or may not know this. Um, one of the programs that I actually teach is uh, is is on the topic of vision. Creating a vision, crafting a vision, is something that so many people spend very little time on. But it's also one of the most important things that you can do in life or in business, especially in business. And so I do deep dive trainings on this topic specifically because it's something that's so important to keep fresh. And it's also something that most of our clients get wrong. And so 
Um, I, I have a training on that's the starting. The vision was the starting point to Ray Kroc's success. If he didn't come to them with the bigger vision, the McDonald's wouldn't exist as we know it. Uh, you have to start with that bigger vision. And so yesterday on my live, I actually shared how I revisit and refuel my vision every single week on Sundays. And so I talked about that process yesterday. If you missed it, you can check that out. Um, but your vision is where you determine what your single most important thing is that you should be focusing on at any given point. And so if you've ever struggled with either overwhelm, either in business or in life, or you've not known what you should be doing at any given moment, if you thought or wondered, but there's so much, like where do I start? If you've ever been there, then it's just simply because of a lack of vision. If you clarify and refocus on your vision, um, then then that that will that problem will go away for you. And so it simply means your vision is not strong or clear enough. Strengthening and clarifying your vision, and your it, as a result, immediately your your focus and uh, your effectiveness will improve. It it gets much better almost immediately. And so if you'd like some help on clarifying a vision, getting a, a creating for yourself a clear and compelling vision, um, there's questions that you can ask to unpack any vision. Uh, to make it more visceral, to make it more exciting for you, to to tap into a deeper part of you, to really make the vision meaningful. That's what drives us through those tough days. Whenever we feel like binge watching Netflix, that's what actually drives us. Now, uh, so if you'd like some assistance with that, I do have a 25-ish minute training that I recorded uh, a few weeks ago on this topic. I'm happy to send it to you. Totally free, no strings attached if you want it. All you gotta do is let me know. How do you let me know? You leave a comment below on this video and you leave the word vision in all caps. If I see the word vision in all caps, that'll let me know that you want it. Uh, you can also reach out to me, just send me a private message if you'd rather do that. But the benefits of this um, include, a, you'll, you'll have a more, more of an internal fire, all right? You're more fired up about each day, you'll wake up excited. Uh, which is which is something that so many people don't ever get to experience, and it's it's a shame because it's every day, not every day, but many of my days are like Christmas morning, waking up just super excited to get into the day, full of energy, um, and and that's a drastic difference from moping around and and kind of staying in that depression-like energy. I've been both. I've I've been in both places. I much prefer waking up like it's Christmas morning. You'll also get clarity of what to do at any given time. No more overwhelm. You'll feel much better about your progress. That's a big one because you'll actually notice it. You don't notice your progress when you don't have a clear vision. When you do have a clear vision of where you're going, what you want to create, and you, you're making progress towards it, you notice it. Oh, I'm getting closer to the thing that I want. I just completed these three things. Now I'm going to work on these three, right? You notice your progress which then in turn brings about more success and more progress. All right, you'll also inspire more people to tap into their greatness that's inside of them. When you are clear on your vision and you're running towards it, like I said, you'll have people wondering, what the hell are you taking? How do you have so much energy and clarity and passion and how are you so productive? It's all because of the vision. So if any of those things sound good to you, uh, just let me know that you want my free vision training below in the comments. Like I said, just use the word all caps vision in your comments uh, and or send me a PM. I'll get it right over to you. Uh, you'll learn more in this 25 minute vision training for free than you'll learn in many of the paid vision trainings that I've been personally invested in. And so if you want it, just reach out and ask me for it. I will give it to you. Kathy, thanks for joining. Dean, thanks for joining. Sam said paid $2.7 million in 1955. It's a heck of a deal, heck of a deal now. So there you go, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you would like the vision training, simple to get. Just come, leave me a comment below uh, and make sure you comment all caps vision and we'll get it over to you. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.